Good afternoon, Demi. How can I help? Bye. Bye bye bye. It's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're just joining us now, welcome. So I've got wet hair. I've been in the shower this morning. I swear to God guys, I am so excited for this video. So bit of backstory. My or one of my favourite ever skincare brands is Pixie Beauty. I love them so much. I got introduced to them probably around four years ago. My, one of my good friends Katie Meehan told us about them and I tried a few of the products fell in love me and her ended up attending a pixie beauty event which was a dream come true for me i loved it so much it was when caroline hirons was there katie was like starstruck at meeting caroline and it was such an amazing event and then ever since then i've just bloody loved pixie beauty i got on my pr list which to me was such a huge deal because i love their products so much so the fact that i get to try all their new products out is just it's honestly one of my biggest things that I just love that happened to us is the fact I'm on Pixie Beauty's PR list, okay? But I promised ages ago now that I would do a video for 24 hours trying out all of their products. People were so excited and I never done it. So I'm really, really sorry. However, I'm going to do it. What's even more exciting about this video, last time I was in London with Katie, we were just randomly walking and we're, Katie stopped to talk to this woman. Turns out the woman she was talking to was Amanda Bell and that is Pixie Beauty's makeup artist. All the good stuff happened with Katie Meehan, I tell you now, because every time I'm out with Katie, she introduces us to someone amazing or I go to an amazing event, okay? Katie's just the girl to know. <laughs> anyway, it was super exciting and I got to go on this morning set because of Katie. Katie, you've made a lot of things happen in my life, love. I love you this so anyway basically i got introduced to amanda on that day and then when we left i was like hiya i'm gonna do 24 hours try and pixie beauty products would you be able to pick them for us so this is even more exciting because amanda who is pixie beauty's makeup artist has picked all of the products for us so these are upon her recommendation which i'm so excited about i'm no makeup artist myself so i hope i can do the products justice and the skincare but i'm so so excited for this next 24 hours. I'm gonna start with my skincare. Now, I use a lot of skincare in my routine anyway from Pixie Beauty. So I'm gonna talk you through the products that I've used, haven't used in first impression try and so you know if it's my first impression or not. So the first product Amanda sent over that I'm really excited to use is a double cleanse little pod. This is what it looks like. Yeah, so you wash both of them off. They're both like cleansers. Now, I'm so excited. I do double cleanse, sometimes even triple cleanse my face. I love cleansing my face. So, I'm going to use these products first. I have my water, my hot water, and my flannel at the side. Now, I've never tried this product before. The cleanser that I usually use from Pixie is the Milky Collection. So, I've never tried this cleanser, and I have used the Vitamin C cleanser before as well. But this is the product. It comes in a nice comes in a nice little tub. I'm gonna leave all of the prices of the products on the screen as I'm showing them and using them, just for reference. Okay, so it comes like this. Now the cleanser I'm using at the minute is actually the Solid Chamomile Cleanser from The Body Shop. That's the one I'm using at the minute. Oh, okay. So you have obviously your solid side and then your side, which just like isn't solid, but I'm gonna use what's on the lid for that side today. So I am gonna double cleanse this morning, but I'm gonna use the creamy side of this tub, and then I'm also gonna use this vitamin C juice cleanser, which I've got, and I'm gonna keep the solid side for tonight when I take my makeup off. I think that's gonna be the best option. Okay, so I'm just gonna like grab what's on the lid. You only need a tiny bit of cleanser. I always used to like overdo how much cleanser I put on and run out very quick. Okay, so it hasn't, got much of a scent it's got quite like a, a fresh scent but it's not like scented in like a in any particular way i would just say it's like a cream scent <laughs> it feels really soft on my skin it actually feels really nice okay i really like the feel of that now i'm just gonna grab me wet flannel Okay, that feels beautiful. And it's wiping off so smooth. Okay, first impressions. I'm very happy with that cleanser. It was so smooth and creamy to put on. And it's left my skin feeling like really just nice. Do you know what I mean? So, happy with that. But obviously, I feel like with a cleanser, 
you won't know if you really love it until you've used it for a long period of time but I'm excited tonight because I'm going to use both sides tonight when I take the makeup off so it'll be interesting to see how well it like takes my makeup off so the next product I have is the vitamin C juice cleanser now I have used up a full bottle of this in the past I remember when I went to New York for the first time I was currently using the vitamin C cleanser because I'd been sent a vitamin C PR package and I loved it so much what I really loved about the cleanser is the flavour is orange but it was also like an oil cleanser so my skin always felt really moist after using it but I haven't used it in a long long time so I'm excited to give it a go again this is what the product looks like just comes in this lovely bottle with all the green branding of Pixie Beauty but what I really like is the lid has a little pressy down bit so you can get your cotton pads and then what's so handy is you can just press them down so there's no like mess and then it just goes straight onto your pad like that and with Pixie products, I feel like throughout the full brand, you don't need to use a lot of the product. So I've just squeezed some onto my pad and I'm just going to go around my face with it. It smells so good. Oh my God. It's like a nostalgic smell for us because I remember using it in New York. So it reminds us of when I was in New York. Oh, I love that. Does anybody else like have something they used in a period of time and then it gets like nostalgic for them? Oh wow, this feels so good. Anyway, it's such a great cleanser. It's really oily and I just love, you know, I just love it. That is done. I actually will probably use this as part of my routine again. I really love it. It gives you like a nice fresh feeling on your face. And like I said, it's a very oil based cleanser. So I feel really like moist after I've used it. Okay, so the next product I'm going to use is a product I've had in my routine for a very long time. I actually got sent a huge bottle of it a few years ago with my name on. And I, honestly, it was one of the best things that ever happened to us. It is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. The Glow Tonic, I think, is one of the most popular products. Everybody loves it it says gently exfoliates brightens healthy glowing skin it says use am or pm after cleansing apply with a cotton pad so that's what i'm gonna do i love this product so much and i feel like everybody who uses it falls in love with it so it comes like this so it doesn't come like full open top which is really good so you don't waste loads of product and then i just put like a few drops on and then i just put it on my face it's got like a really unique smell to it as well. Beautiful. I love this product. It's a product that I've used many times in the past. It's not currently in my routine, but now that I have a bottle, I'm probably going to put it back in my routine because it is a really good product and I like it. Now, there is a product within Pixie Beauty that I've not got on with in the past, but we'll get to that when I come with it. So, because I love the brand, I obviously am talking very highly of the skincare because I really love it. But there is some makeup products that I haven't got on with in the past from Pixie, so I'm excited to give them another go because I feel like my makeup's definitely changed in terms of you know what i wear and what i want now compared to when i first tried the makeup products so the next product that amanda sent us over was the rose caviar essence now i've never tried this before and i wasn't really sure what to do with it but it says to use am and pm after cleansing and toning gently press onto the skin and neck to absorb so i thought well we'll try you now I definitely have had the product before because I remember seeing it but I think I might have given it me man because I wasn't really sure what to do with it. So this is what it looks like. I actually love the packaging but we're just going to give it a go because I've never tried it before. So this is exciting. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to do exactly as the packaging says and put it all over. Oh it smells beautiful. I feel like rose scented products smell so good. Okay, so it's very, it's very wet. Feels very water based, which is good. Should give her a good moist. Yeah, it's different to my thought. I really thought it was going to be like a gel, but it feels just a lot more wet. Which I'm actually happy about because I'm not going to lie, I don't love gel products. I feel gel products are often quite sticky. But this, it's got a tiny bit of stick to it, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's really sticky, but it has got a bit of a stick. Yeah, overall, feels quite good. So, the next product Amanda sent over was this, and it's the, I don't know how to pronounce it, Pen, Penomenal Gel Aloe Vera and Chestnut. 
this is what it looks like it says neutralizing moisturizer so this is what i'm going to use as my moisturizer it says that it's for all skin type so my current moisturizer is actually a pretty pixie beauty product it's a hydrating milky lotion it says that this can be used on face and body and i've been using this on my face as a moisturizer for the last well well over a month as you can see i've used quite a lot of it up and even though this is a pixie beauty product i'm not going to use it now because i've used it before so i'm going to use this product now i feel i may have had this product before as well but i can't really remember anything about it so that could either be a good sign or a bad sign now the package is slightly different it's in like a i don't know how to describe it like just a bit of a different packaging but anyway i really like it i love the color of the pixie product the green oh, love it okay so we are just gonna try it now i really like the milky one. Oh, okay it's white i don't know why i just expected it to be clear for some reason okay so just gonna put some on my hands and go straight in with it oh it feels nice hasn't got a scent oh it has actually yeah it's got a very mild scent to it oh it feels so good okay so i put it all over my face it feels really nice and hydrating my skin feels super super hydrated after that and yeah i really liked it seems nice i don't really know what much more to say definitely a nice moisturizer compared to this one honestly both really good okay so spray product amanda sent over the hydrating milky mist i love the milky collection it's probably my favorite collection that pixie do i've literally used the full collection before so i have used one of these up before but i'm really excited to have another one because i loved it a lot however i have been currently using the glow mist which is nourishing mist this one as you can see this is kind of the one i've been reaching to when i've been going to put a mist on um i must have got sent it in a pr package so i'm going to go back to the milky mist i'm going to use this one okay so i'm just gonna I like to put a lot on that's bringing back a very nostalgic smell as well and i feel like that might have been part of my routine when i was in new york because that smell is reminding us of new york again i feel like i was on the pixie beauty like go when i was in new york because that smell is so nostalgic anyway love that i've used that product up before and i really love it so i'm really glad i've got another bottle now i got sent not too long ago a sun mist by pixie beauty it's the sun mist with chamomile and bamboo estrec so amanda didn't send this over but i'm still going to use it it's the shia sunscreen sun mist and it's spf 30 this is what it looks like i was actually really excited when i got this because i love it when they bring out a new product that i can try so i am going to put some sun mist on as well because we're having quite sunny days plus i feel like i wear spf every day not just on days where it's sunny so okay Oh, it's got a whew, very refreshing spray. That was that was good. Oh, I'm not sure on the smell. Oh, I'm not sure on the smell of that. Okay, but it felt very refreshing and very nice for the face. So now it's time for makeup, which I'm very excited for. Although I would say when it comes to Pixie Beauty makeup, it's kind of been a bit of a hit and miss relationship. Where when it comes to their skincare, it's my ride or die. I love it so much, but in the past haven't had the best experience with a lot of the makeup products now i'm going to talk you through the products as i use them if i've used them before but i'm really excited to give them a go because i feel like when i used them in the past i liked a very full look like when i was going to new york and stuff when i was kind of first introduced to the brand and i was trying their product i like a really really full makeup look and i just feel a lot of the time pixie beauty is more natural which is personally what i like now but in the past i didn't so i feel like my perspective might have changed when it comes to the makeup products but we're gonna have to see so there's one product that i use religiously though that's the pixie beauty flawless beauty primer i swear to god if you buy one product from the back of this video buy this i've used it on all my get ready with me's for the past good few years i love it so much so basically it's it just says hydrate and radiance primer but what i think this is amazing for as well if you're having a no makeup day put this on your face and it makes you just look just better it just glows your skin so much it is honestly my favorite product and i've used about three 
of the product, three, four of them now. I love them so much. However, this is not the product that Amanda sent over, but I'm still probably gonna use this as well for a different part of the routine, maybe like a liquid highlight, because it's really good for that as well. It's such a versatile product as well. You can use it as a primer, you can use it as a, just a base on your face when you're wearing no makeup, but you can also use it as a liquid highlight. It's such a good product. But Amanda sent us over this, which is the Flawless and Poreless Primer which I've never tried. So yeah, it's slightly different. So we're gonna use this one. So yeah, it says Flawless and Poreless Primer Translucent. I really like the packaging. This one actually comes in the green packaging that like Pixie had throughout the brand. But I've never tried this one. I didn't even know it existed to be honest. So I'm really excited. So I'm just going to, okay. Oh, okay. So very different consistency to the one I usually use. It seems quite thick the flawless beauty one is a little bit more runny okay i think i put quite a lot on my hand you i don't need this much whoopsie okay i'm just gonna put it on my face and go from there hasn't got much of a scent okay now i always rub my primer in with my hands okay so this is a very thick primer Okay, so the primer feels very nice on my skin. It's nice and thick and I do feel like it's given us a good primed layer. However, it hasn't given us the shine of the Flawless Beauty Primer and I feel like the Flawless Beauty Primer is just so good. I love it so much. So, I'm still gonna put a bit of it on because I feel like it's a different type of primer anyway. It is like a radiance primer to give you like a, a kind of shine look. But that primer there that I've just used, I feel is really good for kind of like hiding the pores. I hope it's gonna really like give the foundation a flawless look. But I am gonna go in with this as well. So I love a really luminous space and I feel like this product gives us that. So I am gonna put a bit of my rider dye on as well. You only need like a tiny bit, but it's just the best product so much i really do and then i'm just going to pop it i literally just put it everywhere and it just gives you such a gorgeous i, ca I can't even describe what it does i just love it i love it so much and there we have it honestly like the shine this product like the camera's just not doing it justice honestly i love it so much right now foundation this is where i'm a bit skeptical because i have tried the beauty balm foundation before which is pixie's foundation it says it's a high coverage foundation but i remember not liking it in the past because i didn't feel like it was very high coverage so amanda sent over beauty balm in warm and in nude so i've got two colors to try or like to see which one's going to fit best but yeah in the past i'm not going to lie i have not loved this product Medium full coverage foundation formulated to hydrate the skin. Now, what I'm thinking, I used to really love matte foundations, but I hate matte foundations nowadays. And I don't believe this is a matte foundation. So I feel like I'm gonna like it now. Whereas I did not like it a few years ago. I actually really did not like it. And I give it to my mom because I didn't wear it. And she loves it. And my mom likes a much more natural face than me or she did in the past whereas nowadays i feel like i like a natural face as well so i feel like i might have changed opinion but i'm not sure so i don't know which color i'm gonna be nude seems to be a lighter shade so i'm just gonna have a look my mom will be gutted if i like this because she was probably expecting to get these if i don't okay i'm just gonna see what the color's like Oh, that nude looks like quite a good colour. Okay, I'm going to go in with nude and try it. Now, it's come out very... Yeah, it looks quite like... I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, I'm just going to get some and put it on my face. I don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to put it all over. How do I usually do my foundation? I think I usually... I'm literally lost this morning, guys. Like, I don't even know where I am or who I am. Okay, I usually use a brush like this, and I'm just going to pop the product down... And then I'm gonna put it straight on my face. Okay, I feel like this is actually gonna be a really good color tone for me. Okay, let's blend. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna give you an up close view. Not 
gonna lie really liked it okay i'm a bit shocked because i honestly never used to like this product i think it was when i was really into matte foundations i just felt like it was a bit sheer however i don't feel it yet today and i don't know if it's the way i apply makeup now so foundation wise i always use a brush i used to always religiously use a sponge so maybe i was using a sponge and it was giving it a much different like finish Honestly, now I'm really happy with this product and I'm really happy that I found this because I've been looking for a current foundation to replace my old foundation because it wasn't cruelty free or vegan and I really want one that is and the whole Pixie Beauty brand is. So I'm actually really happy about this and I feel like I really like the way that it looks. It's given us a nice coverage. It's not too thick. It's not matte so it hasn't dried up my dry skin areas and I feel like it's quite luminous but that could also be because I do put the Flawless Beauty Primer underneath but overall I'm very happy with the way that it's laid on my skin. Not patchy. It blended nicely with this brush so overall I'm very happy with this and not the not the turnout I expected from the foundation and I did use the shade nude which I do like it's probably a tiny bit too dark when I haven't got tan on but yeah I'm, I'm very happy with this not gonna lie I don't believe Pixie have a concealer because I've never ever seen one and Amanda didn't send one over so I'm gonna skip concealer because I don't I don't always use it either to be fair so the next products that I'm gonna use the flawless beauty primer which I'm gonna use as a bit of a liquid highlight but then I I also got sent a PR package a while ago and it had these in it's the blush sticks and I've been really eager to try them so it's a tinted moisture stick on the glow blush now I've picked this shade out just because I think it's going to be a good shade to use so I'm gonna try the blush stick first not gonna lie I don't wear blush every day I just usually wouldn't pick blush up now I'm not going to apply it direct because I don't want to get all of that covered in my foundation so I'm going to just take a little brush and brush it on the brush okay that is very pigmented i didn't mean for it to come out like that i'm just going to dab a little bit off because i don't want it to be too harsh and spoil me makeup but i am just going to put a little bit on i don't know how to apply this oh my god this is so cute <gasps> look at how pinky that is oh that's so cute it's just giving us a bit of color on my face okay i like that Ooh, that is cute okay and then i am going to use a little bit more of the primer that i love just for i literally just get a tiny tiny bit this is part of my everyday routine and i just use it as like a liquid highlight and yeah as you can see it just gives us such a beautiful little highlight so they are the wet base products that i use now amanda did very kindly send over this which is a translucent powder which i've never tried it's the h2o skin veil hydrating loose powder never tried this at all but i am going to put a little bit under my eyes just to set the foundation oh she's got it everywhere good one dem so i am just going to get a tiny bit of the powder not gonna lie, I don't love loose powders. I just think they're very, very messy. So I've just put a tiny bit under my eye just to set it so I don't get that like annoying crease there. Honestly, I feel like with translucent powders, it's really hard to have an opinion because to me, they're all quite the same, but it seems to have set under my eye. So happy with that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is probably my powder base product. Now this got sent over from Amanda. It's the Shape Shifter Palette Pixie X Promise. Now it looks really pretty. It's got some powdered highlights and some powdered bronzers in. Which I'm excited to give a go. To give a go. Okay, so I'm going to go in with, I do feel like I want to go in with this darker shade here this is namaste but i do really like the look of spice as well now we do have some shimmers which i'm presuming a highlight as but i don't know if they're going to be my shade so i have a really light one here which is quite called momo momo but it looks very light and then this one which i think would be for a darker skin tone called rubus but i feel like i would use these two more as an eyeshadow but anyway i'm going to go in with uh i think i've decided this one for a bit of contouring on my face 
and just yeah just to try and like chisel us in a bit okay so i've popped the bronzer on i really like it it was a really nice shade it blended really easily and it was just easy to use because i've already put the flawless beauty primer on as a highlight i'm not going to use the powdered highlights just because i don't think the my colors so the next thing i'm going to do is go in with the eyeshadow palette so the one amanda sent over was the pixie actina young eyeshadow palette and it says tones and textures it looks really pretty now i'm not creative when it comes to eyeshadow my everyday eyeshadow is a one pan eyeshadow that i just put on my eyelid but i'm gonna try and be a bit creative with this don't expect too much but i'm gonna try so it's actually got some really pretty colors in it i was looking back at some of my old videos the other day and i used to do some really cool eyeshadow looks like look at these colors i really want the ones that i'm drawn to initially is this peach tone these brown ones I feel like I'm going to just try and do a kind of sunset smoky look. Now, I've got on really well with Pixie Beauty eyeshadow palettes in the past. I have a few of them upstairs in my drawer that I really like. I think they've got good pigmentation to them, and I usually really like them. So, I'm just going to do what I think, okay? And hopefully, I can create a nice look. I want to try and be a little, not basic. I want to try something. I'm just going to bring you in a bit. Oh, that is close. Okay, I've brought you in so you can actually see what's going on on the face. I'm going to go with quite a light brown at first, just to kind of get rid of the crease and do a base. I'm going to use that peachy tone. I really like it. My God, this is such a pretty shade. I love it so much. I can't put it down, I just keep putting more on. Oh my god, I love this shade. Now I'm going to wet this little brush with the hydrating mist. Because there's a shimmer shade in here, which I really want to use as well. And I feel like with shimmer shades, if you wet them, they come up better. And then with the shimmer, I'm going to go in the corner. Guys, I am going to get extra creative. There's a blue in here, which I really want to try. I don't know what to do with it, but I think I might put it under my eye. I'm just going to do it. Because I never play around with eyeshadow anymore. This is the colour that I'm talking about. So the colours I've used so far is, um, I use this one first as like a base, which is sand. Then I've used this peachy colour up here. Then I've used this shimmer colour, but now I'm going to try this tealy colour. I swear to God, guys, that is the fanciest eyeshadow I've done in a long time. So I'm no makeup artist, but we've kind of got a bit of shimmer, a bit of peach, a bit of brown, and then I went for a blue underneath. Who am I? Anyway, so moving on, I have two products left for my makeup. So I've got the two-in-one brow pencil duo so my eyebrow routine usually is just a gel i don't do much more than that oh so this is like a little gel but it is tinted i think in natural brown and then this is a crayon which i don't really use that's a very good gel it's really separated my brows and just made them nice and fluffy looking i like that so i then also got sent the large last mascara in bold black I'm going to put some of this underneath my eye. I have extensions on, so I am not going to put it on my extensions. I'm just going to put it on. Me. And yeah, it just widens my eyes up a little bit. Okay, so to finish off, I wasn't sent a lip product, but I'm going to go in with the on the go blush. And I'm just going to grab a bit of that for my lips just to tint them or give them a bit of colour. And this one is in the shade Ruby. It's the one I used on my cheeks. But that actually works really well. Is just something to put on your lips to give them a bit of colour. And then I'm going to finish off by using my Milky Mist spray. Just as the setting spray. Whew! 
Okay, overall, I feel like it's been a success. Now, I am going to dry my hair and then come back on camera and show you me full look once my hair is dry because obviously I just look a bit like a wet rat at the minute. And then I will give you my overall opinion on the look. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look with my hair dried. I personally love it. I feel like it's a really natural look, but there were so many colours I could play around with on the eyeshadow palette. But this is what I went for. And I like the little tint on my lips as well. Honestly, I really like this. Now, I am going to be wearing this all day, so we'll see how it wears. And I'll catch up with you later tonight to start my evening skin routine. I've got some bath products to try and got a full, obviously, face for my evening skin as well. And we'll see how the makeup wears throughout the day. So, I will see you tonight. Oh! Okay, guys. So, this is the makeup after a full day's wear. It has came off in some places, like my chin. Obviously where I've been eating and stuff. Yeah, and I have got a slight smudge under the eye. But overall, I'm really happy with the makeup. Especially for like 7 hours wear. I feel like it's lasted pretty well. But yeah, I am going to be cleansing and taking my makeup off very soon. But I just wanted to update you on how it's actually worn. Very happy with it. It hasn't felt heavy. It hasn't felt cakey or anything like that. I've been very happy with how it's felt all day on my face, which is good. So I'll see you when I go upstairs to take it all off. I have got a little bit missing on my nose as well. A bit like Rudolph. But yeah, quite a nice wear really. Sorry it's a little bit dark guys, I'm not turning the light on because the fan goes and the sound is really annoying. So I'm going to go in the bath but before I do it I'm going to cleanse my makeup off. So I'm going to use a hot cloth and I'm going to use the Pixie Carolyn Hirons collab and I'm going to use both the solid side and the cleanse and cream side. So I'm going to do a double cleanse to take the makeup off. Oh and then I remember I actually bought a while back, it's the Lash Nourish Makeup Remover Pads. I can't remember where I bought these but I think I bought them in a come shop with me because I was really interested to try them and I have been wearing lashes again recently so these should be really good at nourishing my lashes while taking the makeup off. So I'm just going to run the tap for my flannel to get all hot and I'm going to start by using one of the little pads just to kind of take the eye makeup off make sure i get right on the lashes because i don't want to leave makeup residue in my lashes not pretty yeah they remove quite a lot like quite a lot coming off i'm gonna leave it at that for now and do the cleanse so i'm gonna go in with a hard cleanser i usually when i have acrylics on just like dig me nail in a little bit and push some up so i've just got like a pea size amount so i'm gonna go with a cleanser pop it on my face and just oh, i'm actually just gonna rub it all in may need a little bit more but i can tell it's really like breaking down the makeup because it's so oily it feels so nice i'm just gonna grab a little bit more of the solid one so this is what we look like and i'm just gonna get the hot flannel and we're gonna remove Ooh, that was a good swipe, good bit of removal there. That solid cleanser literally took off so much of my makeup and it's left us with a really nice shine. I am going to go in with the other cleanser and just go all over. They feel so nice on the skin, like so smooth and nice. And then I'm just going to go in with a hot cloth and do the same thing as before. Guys, my skin is looking absolutely glowing after that. So I'm going to go in the bath and I'm going to be taking with us this, which is the Rose Body Cleanser. So I got sent it in a PR patch a while ago and it says to apply our concide amount apply onto the skin and rinse off so i'm going to use it like a body lotion type of thing and then i'm also going to be taking two masks into the bath with this because i do like to have a long bath i'm going to be taking a sheet mask this is the vitamin c sheet mask and then i'm also going to be doing the milky remedy mask as well so i'm going to do both of them in the bath so let's go and run the bath 
My pixie themed bath is ready to go. Guys, I don't know about anybody else, but when I used to live with my mum and she would run us a bath, she always got the temperature like bang on. Living by myself and running my own baths, or like just being an adult and running my own baths, because I did run my own baths at my mum's house, but sometimes she would run us one. I can never get it right. It's either freezing or too hot. This one was a little bit too hot, but I've managed. Okay, so we have three products to try, two being face masks, but I also really want to try this rose body cleanser. Now, I feel this is going to smell so good, which I'm so excited. Pixie brought out a body wash. It's not being used, though, so it has a seal. Anybody else take little seals off with their mouth and then just get, like, product in their mouth? Anyway, so, Pixie Beauty body wash. Let's give you a try. Don't fall in the bath. It fell in the bath. I'm going to use my flannel. This is a different flannel as to what I washed my face with, by the way. Not like it matters, but anyway. So, I'm just going to put some on my flannel. Oh, it's white. I kind of expected it to be clear. Don't know why. I'm going to give it a rub in. Oh, it smells like a spa. Oh my God, it smells like a really nice spa. Okay, and I'm just going to like rub it in my body. Feels nice. I like to use some on my hands as well. Under the pits, into the thick of it. It feels really moisturizing, like it actually feels a bit like a moisturizer rather than a shower gel or a wash cream. Okay, I'm gonna wash the rest of my body off camera just in case we'll have a nipple slip and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've washed all my body. It feels really nice, nice, it smells nice, and my skin feels really soft. So I was very happy with that. So I'm going to use the Milky Remedy Mask next. So it says it's a gel mask packed with nutrients and basically apply AM or PM, apply it thickly out onto the skin and leave for 10 minutes and then rinse off. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, it is a gel. It hasn't got much scent, so it does come with like a little spoon thing. So I'm just going to apply it all over my skin. Like it said... Okay, I'm gonna leave this for 10 minutes and then come back. It is stinging a little bit, which I never ever get with Pixie Beauty products, but I am feeling a little bit of a sting. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's because I'm sitting in a hot bath and it's like opened all my pores or whatever, but I usually always do a sheet mask in the bath. But anyway, I'm just gonna leave it for 10 minutes and then we'll see what happens. I really hope I'm not having an allergic reaction. I don't think I am. I think we're just getting a little bit of a sting, but we'll be back. Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes and I'm ready to wash off the gel mask. It has been stinging ever so slightly, so I'm not sure why that is, but we're gonna wash it off. Okay, so I've washed off the gel mask. I mean, my skin definitely has got rid of all the like dry bits and it feels really nice. So I'm going to put on a vitamin C sheet mask. Sheet masks are my absolutely favorite face masks. I just love sheet masks so much. Okay, this is the vitamin C. I feel like I've used this product before in the past and it's always got so much oil on it, which I love. Just unfolding them and putting them on. That is a bit of a struggle, but we'll get there. I'm sure we're capable. Whoever invented sheet masks, I love you, because I love them. Right. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this on. How long are we actually meant to leave it on for? 10 to 15 minutes. So I will leave it on for that length and come back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna peel. Oh God, I love that feeling. And then I just rub it all in. Okay guys, I'm out of the bath, jammies are on, I'm all dry, my skin is feeling so great, but I've got two products left to use. So I'm going to go back in with this, which I used this morning as my moisturiser. It's kind of like a gel moisturiser, it's really weird to explain, but I'm just going to grab it, 
and just put it all over. What I really like about the Pixi products is they tell you how to use them on the back because some skincare products don't. And I remember for years, I never knew which way the products went. Like I didn't know the routine. Do you do toner first, cleanser first? Well, I knew you'd done cleanser first, but like, you know. But Pixi tells you when you should use a product and how much. Okay, so I really like that. That is all rubbed in. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, which is going to be the final thing, is I'm going to be using this Dreamy Mist, which is Jasmine and Lavender, and it's an overnight mist. And it says, Deep Sleep Enhancing is packed full of natural aromas, well known for their relaxing qualities infused with humicants and antidetoxins for maximum result benefit. Let's spray. Oh! Oh my god, that smells really good. Guys, look at how glowy and just perfect my skin looks. Honestly, like Pixie, I'm going to make a bold statement here. And I think I'm going to say that if I could only use one skincare product for the rest of my life, it would have to, well, not product, but brand, I would... I would confidently say it would be Pixie Beauty. I just love them. I think they've absolutely nailed the formula of their products and I just love them so much. And my skin always feels glowing, nice. I just love their skincare products so much. So I'm gonna make that bold statement and say that if I had to pick a favorite skincare brand, it would be Pixie Beauty. And if I was only allowed to use one skincare brand for the rest of my entire life, it would be Pixie Beauty. So you Pixie Beauty, my friends, that's a bold statement coming from this skincare guru. Just kidding, I'm not really. But I'm a general consumer and I really, really love the product. The makeup, I do like. And today I liked it a lot more than I thought. Some products, I feel like if I had a concealer, I'd be really happy. And maybe different variations of the foundation. I would really like a luminous foundation from them. But I really did enjoy the foundation I had on today. It aged well. I really liked it. And I will use it again. So that's the Beauty Balm foundation. I love the eyeshadow. I played around with some colour, which I haven't done in a really long time. So overall, I really did enjoy the makeup products. But the skincare is just my go-to. I could quite happily use Pixie products for 24 hours. You know, again, I really enjoyed enjoyed it and that's it next i would like to say a bath bomb from pixie beauty although i don't think it's their brand I, I can't see them doing it but a tan would be amazing because i feel like they would do a really natural luminous tan so um yeah pixie if you ever come across this video and you want recommendations i'd like to say a tan from you but if not, most skincare products will never go amiss because I just love them so much. I do, I do, I do. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this video. What product are you going to buy? Honestly, if you're going to buy one product, I still stand by. It's got to be the Flawless Beauty Primer. Buy that product. I love it so much. But I also really like the cream blush if you're looking for a makeup product. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to see another skincare 24 hour video, let us know which brand you would like us to try next. And without further rat a tat, -tat I'm going to let you go. And I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!